What is the treatment? If it is Cushing disease, that is Cushing syndrome caused by pituitary adenoma, in case of children, transphenoidal pituitary microsurgery will be the procedure of choice. Nelson says success rate is 60 to 80 percent and if it relapses, you will either consider a repeat surgery or you will consider pituitary irradiation in the patient. In case of adults, primary surgery is not usually done. First line therapy, we sometimes give a trial of ciproheptadine. Ciproheptadine is a uh, serotonin antagonist and it reduces ACTH production in case of Cushing disease. Uh, but ciproheptadine has a high relapse rate as well as a higher, relatively higher failure rate compared to surgery. Surgery can be considered but less often done compared to children. And you, these days there is a new drug which is approved for use in these patients called as paseriotide. Paseriotide is a octreotide analog which is used in case there are relapses after surgery or if the surgery is contraindicated. So it is a type of medical therapy that you can do. Now what is the role of adrenalectomy or removal of the adrenal glands? Indications include if pituitary adenoma is non-responsive, in case there is a ACTH secreting ectopic metastatic tumor or if there is pigmented nodular hyperplasia. These are the conditions where you will perform bilateral adrenalectomy. It is usually done laparoscopically. It requires pre and post operative replacement therapy with a corticosteroid and it can be associated with Nelson syndrome which tends to develop post operatively. Right? What happens is uh, you remove pituitaries but there are very high ACTH levels. So these high ACTH levels will cause stimulation of melanocytes producing hyperpigmentation. So hyperpigmentation occurring in a patient due to raised ACTH post removal of the adrenal glands is called as Nelson syndrome. And last but not the least, in case the patient was on glucocorticoids and exogenous or iatrogenic administration was causing Cushing syndrome, you will gradually try to taper the doses of corticosteroid and in case the patient can be shifted, you will shift the patient to steroid sparing agents. So this is the brief summary of Cushing syndrome that I have tried to discuss in the shortest possible time.